All right, how can we generate an image in Civita? Basically, we have this generate button here where we can create an image. So let's go to generate and we see options for image and video creation. As you can see, generating a video costs 600, which is quite expensive. And an image costs 65. So be careful with the pricing. We can choose the model and there's a wide variety available. There are so many types, I'm not sure which to pick. Let's stick with the current one. We can also pick the model variant, SNEF, Dev, Developer, or Professional. Choosing Professional costs more, while Draft costs less. Changing the model also affects the price. Wow, they charge based on the model too. They were charging a lot because the model must be special. As you can see, there are tons of models here, all created by users. I'll choose this realistic one that looks good. I'll select it and my prompt will be this. The scene is basically this guy. The scene description is my prompt. We can add a negative prompt to avoid certain types of poor generations. Notice how the image size affects the cost. Then we have GFGS scale, which controls how creative we want the AI to be. Set it to 4 for more creativity or 10 to stick closer to our prompt. I'm going for creativity. Next is the sampler and steps, which determine how many iterations it takes. As you can see, more steps generally mean better results. Usually about 30 steps is good enough. Adding more steps doesn't necessarily improve your image, it just enhances quality, not the actual image generation. For example, if AI generates a blue snake when you asked for green, more steps won't change its colour. Finally, we have VAE, which provides additional colours, details and enhancement. Let's set the request priority to standard, which affects generation speed. As you can see, we can choose standard, high or other options. I'll start generating and see how long it takes on standard. Hope it's not too slow. It's used 17 boots and the generation is in progress. There's the second image. I can't show the first to avoid issues. Now we have the third image. It generates four images in total. And finally the fourth image. They all look quite good honestly. I won't lie, the generation quality is really good. It depends on the model, but it's well generated. So that's how you can generate your own images using this method. That's it. This is how you can create your images.